This is the Rubens tube, um, a 20 pound uh, propane tank with a regulator, some uh, connections, um, rubber tubing, and this is a five foot long uh, duct vent um, with 55 or 56 holes drilled into it, small holes, um, one inch apart. Uh, that's my speaker and that's a rubber glove duct taped and uh, strapped onto one side. This is a uh, plastic um, I don't know, disposable bowl uh, taped into it and it's airtight. Uh, let's take a look at some functions, some uh, sine waves and different frequencies and see what it looks like. Front row seats. I've got on my phone a signal generator that I downloaded for free. Um, I have an Android phone, so it's called Signal Generator. It's quite good. So I'll start this up. It's going to be pretty, pretty, uh, I'll try to turn it down a little bit. As I increase the volume, the flame goes up. If I decrease the volume, the flame goes down. Let's keep it right around maybe there. Now I'm going to decrease the frequency a little bit. And I'm going to increase it. Bring up the amplitude a little bit. Beyond seven, let's see, beyond, beyond about 400 hertz, my particular Rubens tube doesn't really react that much. I mean, you can kind of see it right there if I bring the amplitude up. That's 300 hertz. A little bit more clear. some music in there. Give me one second. I don't know what we should listen to. Uh, whatever it is, it needs to be turned down. Whew. Oh, let's see. How about some Ramones? Uh, oh, Public Enemy. That'll work. Um, hmm. Welcome to the Terror Dome. Burn Hollywood Burn. How about that? Could turn it up. Uh, a little too much. If I can line those back up. I don't know, it makes me nervous just doing this in the garage, but that's the room suit. It's even very sensitive at low volumes. Uh, that rubber glove works really well. Alright, thanks for watching.